program. Please say hello to comedian Rita Rudner. Thank you. It's nice to be back. A lot's been happening lately. I guess the latest thing in, in my life is my cousin just got married. For the wrong reason, though. No, it's for the wrong reason. She married a man for money. And she wasn't real subtle about it either. Instead of her fiancé, she kept calling him her financier. <laughs> I would never marry a man for money. That's silly. He would also have to have land. <laughs> That's not true. When I was first on my own, though, I didn't know much about money. I used to sign my checks, Love, Rita. <laughs> Everything is so expensive. Now, though, I was eating at a restaurant the other night. They didn't even have prices on the menus. Just pictures of faces with different expressions of horror. <laughs> and phone calls locally in New York City have gone up to a quarter. It's so terrible. It's changed my phone behavior considerably. For instance, now, if I get a wrong number, I talk to them for a while. <laughs> also, I found that I've just, like, lost all respect for dimes. <laughs> I used to look at a dime and think it was really something special. Now I look at it and think, eh, it's a penny with an attitude. <laughs> I talk to my parents once a week, long distance. Well, we don't really talk. We kind of have phone signals, so we get messages across, but we don't pay for the call. Every week I call them collect, and every week they refuse the charges. That way they know I'm still broken. I know they're still cheap. I grew up in Miami. I had a terrible education down there. It was terrible. My first grade teacher was an illegal alien. She was hiding from immigration. She taught the whole year from crouched behind her desk. I think I would have studied harder in school if I'd known that when I grew up, I would have to play Trivial Pursuit. That's a great game, really. There's nothing that I find more enjoyable than sitting around with a group of my best friends and being humiliated. I liked Scrabble. All my friends knew about me was that I couldn't spell. Now they know I don't know anything. I always thought I was adopted when I was growing up, because I, I just don't look anything like anyone in my family. I, I look a little like my grandmother now, because I have brown hair and blue eyes. And she has blue hair and brown eyes. Now, being a kid is difficult, but having one, I, I don't think I could do it. My friends tell me stories. One of my friends told me she was in labor for 36 hours. I don't even want to do anything that feels good for 36 hours. <laughs> and parents make such big deals over their little kids' birthdays. My friend just had a great big surprise party for her child. He's one. <laughs> We all snuck in around the crib. We jumped up, we yelled, surprise. He was surprised. He's in therapy. I had the worst birthday in the world when I was a kid because my, my parents hired a pony. And these ponies are never in real good shape. But this one dropped dead. It, it just wasn't much fun after that. One kid would sit on him and the rest of us would drag him around in a circle. Thank you very much. Good night. We'll be right back, folks.